Good evening. Going over some updates that are coming into D&D tools. We have a new tool and updates to existing tools. Quite a bit coming in right now. So going over first, the new tool is an autoscale injector. You guys already know how the minis for the D&D mini injector automatically scale with the grid when grid scale changes, but that does not happen for normal objects. As you can see, the TARDIS on the left is not injected, so it will not auto scale with this grid. That can be dropped on the auto scale injector. So also uh, the TARDIS can also tip over and fall when it is thrown. That is something that is also locked by this auto scale injector. So you place it on there. It can now no longer fall over when it's thrown and it will also automatically scale relative to what it was when it was first injected. If you want to change its scale relative to the grid, you can uninject it by flipping this over. And let's say, make it a whole lot bigger. And then re-inject it. And now when we change our scale, it, it goes back to that original size. So if we go back up to six, it is now much bigger than it was before. So whatever scale it is at, at that time, it will scale relative to that afterward. Next thing on the list, the D&D measurement tools. This is something that I will go over here for and build this. The D&D measurement tools normally had to be calibrated in the center of grid squares. So when you turned on calibration mode and did your calibration of say uh, this 25 feet here, it would have to scale in the center of this grid squares. What you can do now is you can use vertex mode. I added a vertex mode. So now you can say 10, 20, 30, 40 feet. And I want to say that this is 40 feet. And it will now go vertex to vertex rather than center to center. So that might be easier for some grids that you guys have set up. Especially if you're doing something like a map that has a grid on it already. Getting this to line up properly by going vertex to vertex is probably easier than going center to center because you can line that point up pretty easily uh, in vertex mode. So that is just another ability there. Another thing that you have access to is in the right click menu, you can toggle the grid inside this. So if we go back to corridor south and load, our TARDIS gets huge again because of the grid size change, you can toggle the grid via the measurement tools as well. The mini injector got a upgrade. We added the option to automatically initialize one world when the D&D mini injector loads. So if I reload this again, or actually this is enabled right now. So it's called auto one world. It is on by default. So if auto one world is on and a one world is present on the table, when the D&D mini injector loads, it will auto click that button to initialize one world. So we'll go in here and you'll see it. When we load up this map, at this table, you'll see in the lower left that one world was auto initialized. But if we turn that option off and save, and then load that save, one world remains inactive. It will not do it twice if it is uh, if that setting is on and it gets brought in, if one world is already initialized, it will not click that button again. So that is just a way to not have to always initialize one world every time that you start your table. Another thing, there is a shortcut available now in the initiative list and on health bars. The normal method is pressing the button for plus and minus either on the injector hub or the minis themselves, it goes by either one or via the increment by value here. There is now a shortcut to 
make that go faster. By right-clicking instead of left-clicking, you go in chunks of 10. So if you want to go, so if you want to go 25, you can just go one, two, one, two, three, four, five, and now you're 25 up. So that's just a shortcut, and that is available on both the injector and on the miniatures themselves. It also applies to the max values here. Anything with a arrow will that uh, that will apply to. So you you can see this going up by ones, and if I start right clicking on it, it goes up by tens. So it's just a shortcut to make that a whole lot easier to use. Oh, and it applies to the height and rotation as well. So if I'm rotating by ones versus rotating by tens. And I just increased the, <laughs> I turned off player character on her. Okay. So it's just a useful shortcut to make things go a little bit speedier. The grid saver tokens. If I go back here, build this. If I go back here, the grid saver tokens also have a toggle grid option added as well. So they themselves can toggle the grid on and off. The line saver tokens, uh, going on to the line saver tokens, the line saver tokens have been completely rebuilt from the ground up. So I'll build this now and I'll add a line saver token. It will no longer require drawing mode. There is no such thing as drawing mode anymore. That is no longer required. You can basically just draw lines. I don't know why I brought that menu up. Uh, you could basically draw lines anywhere on the table. Any line that crosses into this center zone will be grabbed by the lightsaber token. So I'll draw a little smiley face here. This will be left behind. These lines will be kept. So I'll also uh, increase the size here just to show different sizing. And so these lines will be left behind on the table. Any line that crosses into the zone will be saved by the token and taken with it when it leaves. So you hit save lines and those lines are saved with the map. And if I pack that, don't worry about these not going away. I have all of these ignored by one world so they do not get packed. That gets packed, the center lines disappear, and they will come back as soon as the token gets built again. So that is that. The line saver token has been complete, completely revamped, and also the, the main reason for this is one, to get rid of the drawing mode uh, without needing to... Uh, uh, so that wasn't required. It also has a uh, reset, a revert to save option to revert to whatever lines were there if someone accidentally deleted things. And also, if you don't want the things deleted, you can reset the line saver to forget what it had saved. So now if I pack this, the line saver will go, but the lines will stay. Uh, let's see, what else we got here? Um, oh, uh, with the line saver, there is no need to wait for the 10 second save tick anymore. So the 10 second save tick usually had to be waited for so that the uh, on save could happen so it could actually save the lines. It now saves it instantly. So as soon as you hit that save, it will save the lines and you can immediately pack it and it will get all the things it needs. Uh, if one world is not available, it will use the default custom rectangle bounds, but uh, obviously this works better with one world. The fog of war spawner I will actually no. I think that was already that was already gone over. I think that's it. That is basically all I have for you. Oh, uh, I also injected these uh, auto scaling spells. So the there is a workshop that has a bunch of five uh, E spells that were automatically scaled to a one. I believe it's a two by two grid, but that uh, that is now injected with auto scaling. So, yes, they're all a bunch of custom spells, and I have a link to that post in, both in the collections and on, uh, I'll put a credit to that in the table itself. The only other thing that I have is there is now these year, month, and day trackers that I have added. The original workshop for this, I cannot find for the life of me. I have tried. I'm not sure where this is from, but I saw this on one table and I needed to have it and tried to find credit for it, but I, I'm unable to determine who originally made this. The changes I have made to it is that I was noticing the host could see things just fine, but there were occlusion problems when looking at the 
lines or the numbers from close up for clients, like people viewing it who are not the host. So I moved the numbers a little bit further away from the tokens and now they work great. Great. So yeah, these are available. You basically just left click to go up, uh, right, right click to go down and it has plus five and plus 10 options in the right click menu for all three. That is it. I hope you guys enjoy these features and have a wonderful night.